What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lama Football and today's video I'm going to be doing an LF style uh, LF life video slash an update for the painting helmets video I did a long long time ago. Now I've had a ton of questions about it so I'm going to take you through what I'm doing differently this time uh, for this custom I'm doing right now just for something to do. Um, so yeah, I'll turn it around and I'll show you guys. Okay, so first I'm just going to talk about the uh, helmet and what I'm doing differently for the shell. So first off, I was using a sanding style block before uh, to sand it. My grit was also way too high. So now I'm just using a sanding sponge with a super, super high grit. I think this is 160 or something around there. So a really high grit sanding block. That way all you're doing is taking part of the finish off it. So if you look here, basically I've been using this luminescent light here. I've been looking anywhere I see a shine, I've been getting you know, I've been sanding it and that's how I've been kind of going through it. So now you look at it, it's almost like a matte finish and that's because I took the whole shine off the helmet. So that's the plan there. Uh, this is the face mask I'm going to use for it. Now for that, I did my video I've done a long time ago. I sanded off the uh, rubberized finish a little bit. I just used basic spray paint and then clear coats. Again, tons of... Oops. Uh, again, so tons and tons in clear coats. Uh, that's the stuff I use for it, so if you want to pause there and look at Now, again, if you decide to paint your own helmet, if you paint your own face mask, it can actually be used in a lot of leagues because it's not certified anymore. Uh, any men's league style, it'll be fine, but like most high school leagues, this isn't really illegal. I'm just doing it for a showpiece helmet, so that's the plan. Even looking right now, you can kind of see a shine right there, so I know I need to work a little more in there. Um, also, what I did last time is I basically had some strings running through these holes coming up so I could suspend it in the air when I painted it in my garage. And then to dry, I hung it from up here. Now what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna leave it in my garage to dry. And this is the little stand I made to paint it. So it's basically a small flange that it's really heavy. So that'll ba balance it properly. Um, a connector, PVC. And the PVC is kind of just chilling on the inside there. So uh, that's the plan for this, and I guess next thing I'll be taking you guys outside. I'm gonna paint it tomorrow morning, so right now I'm gonna go mask off the floor and get it prepped and ready. Uh, so this is the little setup I have. Right, I have it on a little metal flange. That's keeping it nice and suspended in the air. And I kinda have to make sure I direct it straight. So that's why I'm gonna just turn it with my hand every little bit, because if I start to veer off in different directions, what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a lot of overspray. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a coat of just basic primer. People who spent money on other people got happier. People who spent money on themselves, nothing happened. It didn't make them less happy, it just didn't do much for them. And the other thing we saw is that the amount of money doesn't matter that much. So people thought that $20 would be way better than $5. In fact, it doesn't matter how much money you spent, what really matters is that you spent it on somebody else rather than on yourself. No. Okay, primer is now finally dry. It took a little bit because it's not the best conditions. Um, another tip for you guys, if you're doing this outside-ish, kind of like I am, and my garage isn't heated or anything, make sure you leave your spray paints inside. That way they don't freeze up or have any issues like that. So just a small little tip. And yeah, so we're gonna hit it with the uh, first coat of matte black. I think I'm gonna do two, maybe three coats, depending how much time I have. Okay, so uh, as I do when I usually get too excited is I put it all together. Uh, I probably should have filmed it, but you guys have seen videos, hopefully at least, on how to put together, how to take apart a right L speed, all that kind of stuff. So those, you can easily go check those out in my how-to playlist if you haven't seen those. Uh, let's just show you guys what we're looking with here. And basically the whole point of this was just a concept for the team I'm coaching right now. Obviously, it's nothing we'll ever do, the black, but it was just something I want to try. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. 